Hello, all the way again, nuggets of wisdom. Why are you to like, share, hit the notification bell for new content? I just want to share with you today, this is one of my mind shift series. I have no other option but to go to war. Let's talk about it. Welcome back. Why do you like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. Happy brother out. My birthday is the 25th of November. So I need you, my brothers and sisters who have been watching my content, to smash that subscription button. Give me good, you know, give me some birthday present. The likes are free. Happy brother out, man. So let's get into it. If you know me personally and people that know me, I am the least confrontation person you ever meet and I don't think that's a compliment I think it's stupid let me just just be honest with you maybe I'm, maybe I'm a little bit too blunt all my life most of my life I have lost some battles because there's some things I did not confront I've lost some battles in my life personally that I did not push back on and whatever you do not confront would confront you many things in life Life does not give you what you want, it gives you what you deserve. Deserve simply means that you go to war, that you, 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 you demand what you need. You demand what you, you, you believe is for you. And if you do not go to war, there can never be spoils of war. I don't care what it is. You need to go, to, you, you have to stop being passive. You can't just sit there and life dump on you. Especially if you know in your heart of heart that there's something more that I need. There's something more that I need to reach out for. And without that, I will not be satisfied until I get it. So you cannot be, you cannot be in that passivity attitude and expect something to happen. Let's have a little bit of background. We're going to go to the, the, the Bible. I, you know, I, to me, I love the Bible. The Bible is a complete book. There's some things that are in the Bible that I don't care what um, self-help book you're reading. It's all put from the Word. It may be done in a different way, but I want to share this. The name of the book is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant, a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down, a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. You have no other option, brothers. You have no other option, sisters. But go to war. Life has passed you so long. I used to be that guy. Oh, please. Let's have some peace. I used to be that person that would tell people, let me let, let me try and let make this make sense for you. Maybe you understand. I like what he said there. A time to tear down. I know probably always a little bit militant tonight. But I want to tell you, nobody's giving you anything. I tried to be nice. Nothing was given. I had to be in a particular posture of war. I had to be in a particular mindset to go for it. As one of my brothers would say, brother, so I had to try and swing for the fences. This is a time to war. A time to scatter stone, a time to gather them. 
a time to embrace her and a time to refrain from embracing. So my brothers, my sisters, you have no option but to go to war. You try every other way. You try the sweet by and by. Like this, like, I like I hate when people quote the scriptures. It's, it, it's blessed to be given and then receive. You've always been given but never receiving. And you at some point need to ask. This is a cycle. If I'm given, I need to receive. If I'm given, I need to receive. I'm not supposed to just keep on giving and not receiving. You know, some people want to go and act like a big man. If you give me money, I don't care if you're seven. I will take your money. I'm sorry, I don't share me my game. Because I also, I'm just not in the giving business. I am also in the receiving business. I need to understand that sometimes, my brothers, you need to go to war. Life is hard as it is. Nobody is given anything for free. Nothing comes together. Your metal will be tested. Your life will be tested. So how are you doing? I want you, if you're one of those kumbaya guys, if you're the one people come together, want to be love, 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 what about it, blah, 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 it's not going to Take it from me. I spent years trying to convince people that I care about them. I spent years trying to love people who are un, who are un, 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 unreasonable to love. I spent years giving money to folks who do not worth it. I'm giving you some game here. I guess you already know this is, like, this is maybe an obvious advice. You even need to go to war to yourself, Mr. Nice Guy, Olu, Mr. Mr. Nice Lady. People do not value what they don't work for, people. Nobody values what they don't work for. And I said before, there are spoils in the war, man. You can't give it up. You can't let life pass you by. You can't let life pass you by. Oh, I just like to be kind. I like to be nice. All oh, that fufu thing. I'm gonna make a joke. I used to. Somebody used to tell me I used to be seriously overweight. The one girl used to tell me, one of them, she said, Oh, I like old, it's just a big teddy bear. And for some reason, she said it, and I just detested it. Well, I ain't no teddy bear. This is a stupid, ridiculous statement. And I didn't know what came over me. And I got angry with the term teddy bear. No, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm a warrior. You don't want to cross me. There's no rules when I have to go to war. Because life is hard enough. And when they're going to take things away from you, there's no rules that they take it away from you. They just take it away. To my brothers and my sisters, I need you to understand some things. You can't be a one dimensional human being. Look at the scripture again. Verse 3 a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down, a time to build. That's the Bible, man. There ain't this 
Ain't no some poofy book. This is not some, oh, come by y'all. We love you with the love of Christ. And I don't say that's not, ain't nothing wrong with that. But it actually says it. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to love, a time to hate, and a time of war. When I can go on, you get the gist. This is simple. But I want to let you know, Mr. Miss Peace. You know one like one thing I found out? You really cannot have peace if you don't go to war. You have to secure your peace by going to war. Olu, how do I secure my peace by going to war? <laughs> I said it in so many ways. You set up your lifestyle. Setting up your lifestyle is a war by itself. You set up your routine. It's, it, it, it's a war by itself. You set up what you listen to. It's a war by itself. You set up that you don't let people bother you. It's a war by itself. It's not going to just happen just because you think so. You can talk about it, but you got to go to war to maintain it. I can go on on this. I think you get the drift. You have no other option, my brothers. You have no other option, my sisters, but to go to war. All the again. I want to hit like, hit the notification bell for new content. God bless you, man.